Electroporation, what is it, how does it work, and why is it useful? Electroporation is a physical transfection method. In other words, it is a method to artificially introduce nucleic acid, i.e. DNA or RNA, into cells. In the case of electroporation, this is done with the help of an electrical pulse, which creates small temporary holes or pores in the phospholipid bilayer, or this part, i.e. the cell wall. This is done in four steps. First, the whole cells plus the nucleic acids we wish to insert are placed in a conductive solution. An electrical circle is enclosed around the mixture. Second, an electrical pulse of optimized timing and voltage is applied across the solution. Third, this disturbs the phospholipid bilayer, creating small holes or pores in it. Simultaneously, this charge creates an electric potential between the outside and inside of the cell, forcing the nucleic acids through the pores and into the cell. This happens because the outside is slightly more negatively charged and the inside of the cell is slightly more positive charged due to this applied voltage. And since the amino acids are negatively charged, they want to move from negative to positive. Fourth and finally, the cell is allowed to recover and hopefully regenerate its phospholipid bilayer. If you have liked the video so far, please remember that I make these videos on all topics related to biotechnology, so you might want to subscribe if you have not done so already. Do it. Okay, now let us look at some pros and cons with electroporation. Electroporation is advantageous since it is easy, rapid and stable. It can transfect a large number of cells in a short time and is applicable for all cell types. However, its major disadvantage is the substantial cell death it incurs due to the high voltage pulse, which often leaves the cells unable to fully recover. If you want to learn more about transfection methods, you can click on the video shown on the screen now. Otherwise, I guess all that is left for me to do is wish you a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Until next time.